addiction to opioids and overdoses continue to ruin lives across the country. That includes South Carolina. Back in 2015, there were more than 560 people in our state who died from overdosing on prescription opioids or heroin. Here locally, MUSC is working to curb that number with a new treatment for opioid dependency. Erin Maven takes a look inside. This is Probafy, a small rod-shaped implant roughly the size of a matchstick. Honestly, we jumped at the chance to make an impact. Dr. Angela Dempsey, an OBGYN at MUSC, placed probofene implants in a patient last month, making the hospital the first in the state to use the drug. A really small incision right here on your arm, and there would be four implants that would go in a small little fan device. This method is nothing new to OBGYNs. The probofene procedure is similar to contraceptive implantation. Once inserted into the arm, the drug goes virtually unnoticed. The patient themselves would be able to feel it under the skin, but it's not visible. Probofene is designed to treat opioid dependence. Dr. Sarah Book led the effort to bring the drug to MUSC. Right now, probofene is approved to be used for six months in one arm and then um, placed in the other arm for six months. Probofene is made of buprenorphine, a slow-release medication used to gently wean addicts off opioids and heroin. To receive treatment, patients must already be on a relatively low to moderate dose of buprenorphine and in counseling. And we teach them new coping skills. Probofene takes away the need to take a pill for treatment. So people who get probofene no longer have to have the behaviors of taking a drug every day to treat a drug use disorder. And as Amy Hebert says, patients will no longer have to think about their addiction. It's almost an out of sight, out of mind. You know, it's there, they don't have to worry about it, they don't have to think about it on a daily basis. So far, MUSC has administered probofene into one man, but they're in talks with other patients looking for a new treatment. Dr. Dempsey says she and her team are willing and ready to help when needed. Being able to provide that for patients who are struggling with this disorder um, can make an, a big impact in their individual lives and hopefully even at the population level. Each kit costs the hospital around $4,000. It's an investment that could be life altering for those on the road to recovery. At MUSC, Aaron Maben, Live 5 News. About that price, there is a patient assistance program through the drug manufacturer. The company also tells us they're working with major insurance companies to help with the cost of treatment. The Low Countries.